In this video, we will show you the procedure to disassemble the Bosch piezo injector, replace its components, and reassemble it using the equipment produced by Radat SPA, together with testing on the Hartridge Sabre test bench. We start the disassembly procedure by tightening the tool 4021 682 in the vise and positioning the injector. Using the adapter 4020381 and the open wrench 4021405 we proceed to the disassembly of the nozzle nut, followed by all the other components. We recommend replacing damaged components and those that are subject to wear, like the gaskets, valves, springs and nozzles. On the Radat website you can find a complete list of available spare parts and calibration shims. We now place the injector body in the 4021682 locked in the vise. We proceed to the assembly, replacing the components provided in the gasket kit 1213823 one, supplied by Radat. The amplifier module needs a pre-charge of liquid ISO oil to be able to work regularly. For this, we place the amplifier module vertically, with the piston facing downwards. Using the syringe included with the tool 4021662, we pour a few drops of ISO oil to fill the chamber of the amplifier module. We delicately insert the small piston with the related spring in its seat. The amplifier module is then fitted in the tool 4021662, paying attention that it is placed correctly. Then we rotate the knob manually to screw in the pushing pin of the tool until it reaches the bottom. 
be careful not to apply excessive force to avoid deforming the amplifier module. If the operation has been performed correctly, there should be no air bubble remaining in the clearance between the two valve pistons, but only the few oil drops which are needed as a means of hydraulic conduction. Holding the correctly pre-charged amplifier module in our hand, we use a finger to press the spring-loaded piston into its seat. The opposite piston should lift off its seat as the hydraulic force is transferred. We insert the just-assembled amplifier module in the injector. We suggest always replacing the valve assembly 214296. Then we assemble the other components. We recommend always replacing the nozzle. We proceed with the assembly by compressing the nozzle to allow the pins 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 7, 6 to slide correctly in their seats and prevent damage during the tightening of the nozzle nut. Using the adapter 4021381 -0 and the open wrench 4021405, we proceed to the tightening with a torque wrench of the nozzle nut to 56 newton meters. The injector is now completely assembled. We will now show you the testing of the Bosch piezo injector on the Hartridge Saber test bench. We screw the adapter 4021939 onto the injector and proceed to mount the Bosch piezo injector on the Hartridge test bench. It is fundamental to use a back leak pipe with a 10 bar non-return valve. Our pipe 4020478 or the combination of our 4020474 and 4020475. Otherwise, the pre-charged amplifier will drain and stop working. Using the touchscreen monitor, we can select the brand and model of the injector to test, and by pressing start, the test bench proceeds automatically to the complete suite of tests.
After the tests are completed, the green or red indicators show whether the corresponding tests were passed or failed. By pressing each test, all the details can be checked on the monitor. More videos are available on our YouTube channel. For more information, we invite you to visit our website www.radat.com and contact our offices.